Hey everybody, Jay Marino here. Welcome back onto our next Maparino 2019 submission submitted by Seven Blood. This is Raising of the Axe. It's the first Warcraft 3 submission that I am playing here. I randomized the order just to remind everybody. Massive credits to iWorkshop and all the creators of the models used in this map, as well as the friendly and helpful people on the Jay Burrito Discord. That's mine! Huge props to everyone who helped test and give ideas. Let's go. Somewhere high up in the mountains bordering the plains of Mulgorge, War Chief Garrosh Hellscream calls for a meeting with Cairn Bloodhoof, High Chieftain of the Torn Tribes. Uh... I guess just for the sake of... Judging, we'll play normal. That's fine. I want to be consistent with the difficulties that we're playing on. And that is where your warriors come into play, High Chieftain. The other races of the Horde do not have the strength required to defend Orgrimmar. Only Orc and Torn warriors, warriors are fit for the task. I believe you misjudged them, Garrosh. It would not be wise to alienate your allies as your first action as War Chief. Nevertheless, I shall honor your request. My warriors shall travel to Orgrimmar at first light. You have made the right decision, High Chieftain. Together, our race's strength shall ensure our safety. I shall eagerly await you at Orgrimmar. That brute is likely to get himself slain if he keeps up with his arrogance. Garrosh is a different type of leader than Thrall, that is for certain. Have the fates revealed anything to you, my friend? Nothing concrete, but I do not need foresight to know he is endangering his own fate. I once knew a warrior with similar passion to Garrosh. Intriguing. Enlighten me to his fate. Perhaps we can learn from the past. To understand the story of Kanu Emberwind, one must understand the story of the Emberwind tribe. Oh, we got a flashback mission, I think. For ages, the Emberwind tribe lived in a verdant valley to the south. They lived in harmony with nature. That all changed when the foul harpies and centaur arrived in force, and armed to the tooth, hoof, and claw. The peace-loving nature of the Emberwind left them little choice. They submitted to their invaders as long as they would be permitted to continue living in the valley. Years passed, and the Torrens suffered under the yoke of their oppressors. The younger generations became frustrated with the decisions of their ancestors, which they saw as cowardly. One such young blood in particular had a fire burning in his soul, a burning desire to free his people, the chieftain's son, Kanu Emberwind. It's not a good idea, Kanu. They outnumber us ten to one. They'd burn our village and slaughter our people. Joka Summer Singer. And we are more than their equal in terms of strength. We lack not the means to save our tribe, simply the will. My friend, I wish to see our people free as much as anyone, but we must be practical. War with the centaur and harpies will lead to more deaths caused than lives saved. Please, for your sake, keep your warrior's hearts in check. Keep your warrior's heart in check. Damn those wretched creatures, and damn those weaklings that let this happen. Kanu. Who in the hell? Go on. I've been waiting for some time to speak to you, Kanu. Torrent Chieftain Ghost? Who are you? Explain yourself.
My dame has been lost to the winds of time, but rest assured, I know yours well. Many years ago, I was a chieftain of the Emberwind tribe. Chieftain? What do you want with me, spirit? I have seen your warrior's heart burn with the passion to free your people. And through the wave of fate, we have seen it come to pass. I am simply here to herald your victory. It's just that easy. <laughs> victory? I do not understand my chieftain. What must I do? Go to your tribe and gather them. The time has come for the Emberwind to march to war. Is this like his future self? Coming back and claiming he's an ancient chieftain? This is preposterous. There is no way our tribe can stand against the centaur and harpies. You'll lead them to their doom with this foolish crusade. Perhaps you have been the foolish one, Father. Our people have suffered long enough. Perhaps it's time to show those mongrels that we have the will to save our people. You would endanger our people. You are a fool, my son. I will have no part in this. Okay, Boomer. Our people have rallied behind me already. We don't need the old and foolish ways to protect us. We can save ourselves now. Tepid pause. And you, Joka? Will you join us and take our freedom? I disagree with your methods, old friend, but I disagree more with your head being mounted on a centaur pike. I'll stand with you, Kanu. Then let's get to work. I see Torin workers. Torin macro map? Custom Torin race? Oh yeah. Get going, buddies. Destroy the Centaur War Pavilion. Slay Queen Windscar. The Emberwind tribe has decided that the time has come to free themselves from the oppression of the Centaur Kanu. Emberwind must lead the members of his tribe against the Centaur Mongols and destroy all the war pavilions. Fall Harpies living atop the nearby mountain have long aided the Centaur in their oppression of the Emberwind tribe. If the Tauren are to live free, their foul queen must be slain. Okay, let's get some lumber going. That's our lumber mill. Okay, that's our basic footman unit. Ranged. Snare defend plane stride. Wow, 20% increased attack speed. Let's go. And then crusher. Okay, got it. Um, let's grab what units we do have. Oh, there's our uh There's the people that aren't that won't join us. Make for the truth. No comment on this one. As fast as I What can you do? Increase attack damage by 25% and increase HP regeneration. Uh, Reign of Stars seems cool. Seems like Blizzard. And then Healing Pulse. Okay, so we want to upgrade those, our casters. Bring it on. <laughs> There's a lot of units to kill here. I can't do anything here until we get more... Uh, until we get the Stronghold. I think we want to do that as soon as possible, though I do need more lumber. You know what? No, well, now I'm not going to get my resources back. Let's, uh... I can see that there's a a gold mine up here. The other reason I'm playing on normal is I want to be able to take the time to review stuff. I just played uh, AWS War Story with Deltron earlier today, and that was our mistake. We tried it on hard at first, and then we couldn't really focus on anything because we were trying to learn stuff, and then we were just getting hammered by enemies. Allows them to temporarily increase their offensive power after casting a spell. Any spell? Hero gains plus 10 to attack damage for 5 seconds and regains HP. That's That's cool. Just any spell that triggers. All right, War Stomp, of course. And then Joka. Bestial form. Oh, he's a lion. He's a druid. That's cool. Warning, learning an ability while in line form may cause bugs and lost levels. Okay, so let's, I guess, keep him in Tauren form for now. Uh, Entangling Roots, Oak Flesh. Wild Growth, which is the same as um, our druids, right? Let's go Entangling Roots. 
Oh, no. So I, I feel like we should probably take this base first and foremost. We're gonna wait for this stronghold. I don't have any extra workers, nor do I have enough lumber in any case. I, am I wonder, like, we can go and check well out what's going on <coughs> around the map. Well done. The kobolds living in the valley have been enslaved by the harpies to mine gold for them. If we destroy the nests guarding their village, they shall surely aid us. Well done. Did it just ping us where that was? I'd like to see that. Destroy the harpy nest guarding, sure, sure. I just kind of want to get a sense of what we're fighting down here. Okay. All right, now back up. Uh, entangling roots. All right, this is a lot. This is a lot of units. Got a war stomp here. Whoop! And I got a, I got a crash. Got a crash. Okay. Let's quick save so I don't have to watch the beginning cinematic again because it's not skippable. I like how they're cutting down trees with other trees. All right, so um, we've learned we don't want to go and attack that yellow base straight away. Definitely not. So I still think I could, the sooner I could take this base, the better. And we can we can set up defense out in this direction instead. I'd like to trigger that cobalt mission again so I can see where they are. I don't know what caused the crash. I, did I try to cast something in particular that may have caused that? I think I tried to use Entangling Roots and it crashed, which is a little odd. Um, also could have been the... <laughs> it could have been the Druid. <laughs> um, could have been the Druid and, and Wild Growth. Um, we also have Shamans here. What can you do? Flame Totem is good. Okay, that's what I'd expect it to be. This is cool. I like this a lot. Yeah, see, it doesn't ping where the kobolds actually are. I need to send some units out to go and just look for stuff. So I assume this is the harpy. And these are the five um, totems. Okay, so let's start the stronghold now. And we've got this building. So I can't really get many upgrades until we, we have better lumber income. There's really not many trees here. So this is actually going to be a little tricky with, again, moving forward with trees. Let's grab Steel Army. The fact that there are five bases does make me a bit concerned. I mean, we have a strong group here. It's just I'd like, I need to find something to, to attack um, that I can actually handle with what I've got here. All right, let's, let's get in here. See, that's a pretty big attack. Okay, only you can stomp, but that's it. Stomp. Okay, we're not getting crashes. I'm, you know, I'm being a little hesitant with the crashes. So they've got rejuvenation, I believe. I'm not sure which of them is casting that. I think it's these casters in the back. So stomp. <laughs> I forgot. This is the person who made the map include my centaur death sound. This was me. Imitating the centaur death sounds. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's a rough early attack. We got to get these heroes buffed up. We don't have anywhere to fall back to to give us... Uh... <laughs> Do they all have that death sound? I thought it was only one. <laughs> it was only one type of centaur that had that death sound, but they all have it now, and I'm really happy about it. <laughs> and it's not too loud. Oh, that okay. That one was okay. So it did. It, it didn't feel too disruptive to me, if you ask me. Oh god! And here come harpies too. We're on normal. I need hunters to attack air, please, and then I need to continue getting upgrades. I want to get a fortress as soon as possible. We're gonna need some more guys on lumber up here. Wow. Okay. This is gonna be rough. And our. Okay. The boulder towers can attack air. That's solid. You, <laughs> we need to be able to to heal somehow. Endurance aura. Uh, I, there's not much I can do right here. My heroes are very low, and mount flame totems. That's it. Gotta do flame totems. Damn, this is no joke. Uh, yeah, we need oak flesh, baby. Okay, what do we need for for healing? Don't can't the druids druids can heal, but we need to get them leveled up, right? Healing pulse. We need to get them to. We can also have spirit walker. Oh, they have spirit walker has chain heal. Okay, give me a couple of those. I think we're gonna be relying pretty heavily on our casters. Let's get one of those set up. Bestiary, sure. Later when we have the lumber, I suppose. 
I am one. <laughs> Just the the sound of the the dying. The sound of the dying centaur. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> it makes me laugh, even though it was me doing it. It still it makes me laugh. Uh, ancestral strength. Kano, I sense the strength of your war is failing. There is an ancient shrine to the north. Go there, and your spirit shall be renewed. Oh my God! These yellow, these these yellow attacks. Bring Kanu to the ancient shrine. That's way up there. Uh, I guess Oak Flesh. Let's get in the front and stomp. Let's keep leveling up Endurance Aura. This poor guy. Okay, it's all QWER. I got to keep that in mind. Is there an enemy hero here? Who's casting Flame Strike? <laughs> I don't even remember what video that was from, but I really, really enjoy it. Okay, um, again, lumber is our current issue. Really struggling right now. Again, this is on normal, so I'm glad I bumped it down. Or I kept it on normal, and I decided to stick with normal. Earth Shields. Adds three armor, slows melee units that attack. Alright, so it's kind of like Frost Shield. It's not a... Okay, you could just healing wave. Good. Um, my concern was that it was just going to be a... Um, like a lightning shield, which is no good, if you ask me. Let's repair this. Got to set up some of these uh, boulder towers. Again, currently lumber is the issue, so I'm struggling to get off the ground. I feel like once we get off the ground, we'll be in good shape, but only yellow is currently online, keep in mind. So this is going to get worse unless we make progress as soon as possible. Getting the kobolds on our team would obviously be useful. Uh, having chain heal is extremely good, as you can imagine. Part of the issue, again, is there really aren't any good spots for lumber anywhere. <laughs> So, like, I can come over here and harvest through these trees, but, like, there, there's no, like, huge bank of, of trees to be harvesting from, which is a bit of a problem. Like, we're already coming down here. Oh, I wonder if that's a, a fountain. That would be so good. Okay. Okay, and we have more chain healing. Okay, that's the way to go. Shaman, I guess. <laughs> Go and look and see if that's a thing. Is it yellow again? What is going on with yellow? Yellow is so angry at us. Stop it! You're so close to finishing these two. Whew, feels like there's really not much time at all between these uh, these attacks. Let's go Oak Flesh. Gotta get in here and start throwing down some stomps. Also, no, we have no items. Oh, you guys gotta back up. Do I have anything that can dispel? Disenchant, yes. We gotta get rid of the uh, the healing that these assholes all have. Okay, Spirit Walkers, man. That's how we're gonna win. Spirit Walkers. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll be able to actually get some, some towers set up. Which will help us against these large attacks. Uh, revive will obviously be really nice when we can get it. Yeah, Spirit Walkers are gonna be hugely helpful. There's a fountain down there, but it's kind of far away. I need to take a unit and scout out my way to that... To that... Um... Whatever it's called. I like that plane strider, too. Gotta get a fortress. I just don't have the income to do it. Rain of Stars. Shaman add-up training for that... Shield would be really nice, too. Yeah, get on lumber over here, buddy. Might have to do some tower spam to hold out against these large attacks. Our mana regeneration is pretty good. Spirit Shackle turns a non-mechanical unit ethereal. Okay, yeah, I know what that is. These guys can go ethereal as well. So, oh, wow, that's good too. Summons an ancestral guardian. They don't have that resurrect anymore. That might be too good considering our entire faction are shamans. For the tribes. I have to keep my army over here for the time being. I can't afford to move them. We're in low upkeep too, which is kind of surprising. I want to get mysticism as well. 
All right, here comes pink now. We're gonna have to make a rotation here to go for uh, to go for yellow. We have to fight through yellow soon. This is also pink. Okay, cool. <laughs> this makes me laugh every time. So our spearwalkers do melee damage or melee attacks? Is that normal? Yellow. Jesus Christ, yellow. Give it a fucking rest. Our our towers are really strong, though. So let's get over there and maybe consider attacking yellow. Because I'm, I'm tired of this shit. Um, let's get some extra druids so that we can cast... Uh, oh, no. We don't want druids. We want um, shaman. Well, druids, too, actually. Let's get some frontliners and go braves. And as long as we've got this healing... We should be in good shape. No crashing since the beginning here. Okay, the lumber's coming in. I need to get this base saturated. Okay, good. This may not be enough, but as long as we utilize our casters, I think we'll be okay. Yellow, again, is really a fucking asshole, so we, gotta, we have to try to figure out how to get rid of them straight up. Let's see if we can draw out... Enemy attacks with Kanu, who is level four pretty quick, so that's good. Yeah, okay, so don't engage them under their towers. Draw them out towards us. Get attacking. Oh, okay, cool. This is great timing. Who? Oh, they have an enemy. They do have an enemy hero. Okay, I see. I'm just trying to throw down this stuff. Let's throw down some heals. And then get the shamans here. And then we're casting wild growth. This is actually working out pretty well. Just trying to spam these, uh, these heals. I answer the call. And then three levels here is excellent. Let's just go ahead and Turn on wild growth for him. Pot of mana, cinder blade. I don't know what that is, but we got to we got to get in here and kill yellow like as soon as possible. So let's let's focus on that right now. Okay, gotta back out with him. Uh, endurance aura. <laughs> okay, we're pretty heavy on casters here. But that's okay. Oh, that's not Rejuve. I thought that's Rejuve. That's, um... That's Wild Growth. That's fine with me. Alright, we're in Yellow's base. Very important. We're good to go. Uh, let's throw down some... Totems. I think we're gonna, again, rely pretty heavily on our casters here. I'm very happy to use these. More concerned about the Harpies. Am I way oversaturated here? I think so. Okay, looking better. Here comes pink, though, which means we're going to have to rotate around here. Okay, got to take a group of these to come over here and defend us against pink. I don't know. I mean, these boulder towers are very, very strong. Oh, I thought there were harpies in here. That's there. There are not. But let's, let's get some units over here. And let's repair. And I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna just finish up my add up trainings, and I'm going to get plus two everything. I didn't even need to really send these things back home. That's okay with me. Yeah. So it seems like a big part here is the fact that our units, our uh, our defensive structures are very strong, and they can attack air. Okay, here comes green. I've got defense up there. We should be okay with. Okay, these are harpies. Uh, I need, yeah, I need those ranged units for sure. I, am <laughs> I, I shouldn't be laughing at my own complete. self, but it is kind of funny. <laughs> All right, let's throw down some uh, totems, and I'm, I'm tr again, I've got two different groups in two different places, so I got to make sure that I'm attacking the correct stuff. In the right places. Where? What do we got here? Circlet of nobility is fine. I brought workers with me. They're, they're kind of—they're not really that distinct, so it's kind of hard to tell. 
Okay, cool. Um, next step is maybe trying to find the kobolds or perhaps... Like, if I take this Brave and I right-click him to here, I want to see what path he takes. I got to get this kind of scouted out here. Got another base that we can take down here. That's a big positive as well. I'm going to try to stay in low upkeep for as long as possible. Are there any trees down here? Looks like some good trees. That's very important. Alright, we got a point here. Fi okay, we got resurrection. We're going to have to fight through some of these extra bases if we want to make this work. Orange just has a huge base right there. Okay, I really like this faction, though. I like how it jives together. It's just got to figure out the right way to what like where we want to go next because no matter where we push they're going to be units attacking us from other directions at, at every moment pull some of these guys off gold to build more boulder towers here the harpies were the ones that actually kind of fucked us up so i could go here next what was that? Spike barricades? I can get level... Well, I can't get level 3 because I don't have any lumber. Still need lumber. I think we go for pink next. Let's go lumber mill down here. If we can get this defense set up, then we could, we should be able to go for pink relatively quick. So let's do that, and then I'm going to consider the optional objectives. <coughs> quick save. Quick save. Definitely quick save. And as these uh, boulder towers finish, I'll feel a lot better. They do. They are very heavy on lumber, so I understand why. That's not. This is not something necessarily I want to stick with. I want to get a bestiary as well. Um, empowers flame totems to be affected by unit. Oh, wow, that's really good. I really like a lot of this stuff. I think we want to go totemic might and then mysticism. Actually, we have a second one here, so let's go for that. And what can our shamans do separately? Power Surge. Ooh, okay, so kind of like Bloodlust. Okay, so let's move over here and start moving towards Pink. The, again, this is a very strong group of units. So as long as we keep Megan units, we're in good shape. Let's get Plane Strider as well. I see. Okay, keep moving in. We want to draw the enemy units out towards us without attacking into their their towers, right? So, exactly like this. Precisely. They are Zeus, Amen. Take heart, young one. Okay. Let's let's get some defensive units out here. We're gonna turn on Earth Shield. Do they have no Do they have no units in their base or or what? Okay, here they come. Centaur War Leader, let's take him out. Throw down more of these. We can get a stomp right in the front. <clears throat> and then... Ooh! Ooh! Okay, if we got a Tranquility Hero, we're solid. We're set. We're good to go. Did I just cancel it? No. We're good. The Harpies are definitely problems. Um, but we're in Pink's Domain right now, so let's take him out. Stomp here. What does this do? Adds five bonus damage. Okay, so it's an orb of fire. It's all good. Let's move on in and let's throw down some healing and then some totems. I'm trying to use these these items to the best of my ability here. Not sure if we're gonna be able to out repair this or not. Don't tell me these are workers. Okay, no, these are braves. That's fine. The totem's path block. That's not a big deal, but noticeable. <laughs> noticeable issue. No gold mine down here, but this is another um, war pavilion gone. Okay, let's get this saturated yet again. I, I hate... <laughs> The Harpies? If we start building these, it's just going to draw them into attacking the, the Improg... Oh, it's not. Okay. Good. Okay, so this is another... This is another base off of our back. There's still three plus the Harpies. We're looking for Kobolds next to... Boots of Speed. That's good for Kanu to get in and out, of course. Okay. 
I really like this uh, this mysticism spell. That's so good. Every 60 seconds you get all of your mana back is wow. Okay. Uh, I'd really like to get the harpies gone, and I also like to find the um. I'd like to find the the cobalts. Yeah, this is a this is a persistent problem. So let's yeah, repair here. We're getting this set up. Continue getting upgrades. Uh, let's spend all that sweet lumber that we got we saved up. Let's do it. It's more down here, but that's kind of on the edge of the map. Maybe over here would be a good spot to set up for lumber. Okay, we have hunters here. The harpies are leaving. That's fine with me. Okay. Uh, Orange just sort of has outposts all over the place. So maybe I should focus on that next. I, I should probably... I just want to make maybe some braves just to, like, look around. Just, like, find stuff. Healing Pulse seems good. I think I would rather get Shaman Mastery Training first. And Spirit Walker Mastery Training um, would also be good just for the mana. But now that we have a hero with Tranquility, um, our healing is pretty much set. Okay, I'm gonna go for this orange outpost next, so that we can kind of open the door to allow us to start moving further into the map. Yeah, they just got stuff that... Where they can, um, cast Flame Strike. I'm not sure who does that. Okay, I've got a worker up here. We gotta just rebuild. Towers again. Research complete. How are we doing on gold on this mine? This one's actually going to run out soon, which is probably for the best. I just got to focus on my my lumber income. Everyone, move in. Uh, let's go rejuve so that our main hero is caught in it, and then stun. And yeah, clearing this out seems like it's going to give us a nice entry into the next set of units, or sec next base. And I guess I'll get another lumber mill down here. And I think we've taken the pressure off of ourselves, at least until the other bases come online. Okay, we lost our druids. Oh my god, yeah, and then Mysticism, and it allows them to just get more Power Surges going. It's so good. Okay, green looks like they're coming for us again. Scroll of Speed. So let's hit that and then go back to base, because it looks like the Harpies are on the way. We're, we're relatively close to our base, so I'm feeling okay. Wake up the Murlocs. Trying to get this stuff set up as soon as possible. Sure, spiked barricades. And then let's go spirit walker mastery training. We're getting lumber from wherever we can wherever we can at this point. I dream of this. When we attack the harpies, we're gonna need so much so much air attack. So much. Alright, we have another orange outpost here. So let's get into it. Wow, what? Focus that unit down. Holy shit. That was no joke. Okay, once again, killing more orange sections here. Mm, okay, and let's try to heal up what we got. Got to replenish my casters as well. I have no, um... I have no anti-building. That would be nice. Should probably focus on that. All right, turn off Wild Growth now, because I want to make sure that I can use Rejuve on you. Here comes Gray. Gray is, like, now online. Okay, now we've got Shockwave. You guys back up and heal yourselves. Uh, Mysticism, so that we can throw down more totems. That's so cool. Manuals of Health. Obviously, it's all going to go on Kanu. I think that's Earth Shield that's zapping. I thought that was like an air attack that was hitting me that I couldn't see or something. I don't know. 
Fount of, ha Fount of Mana. Okay, that's great. So let's kill these lions. How are we doing on time? In about 24 minutes plus the intro. I think, I, again, we're kind of on a roll right now, so I think we could probably finish this in a, a reasonably allotted time. The harpies are right here. How do I get to them, though? I gotta get through the, uh... My old bones. I see. Okay, there's like a pink... Oh, no. I I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Random harpies sort of just flying in a big circle? Alright, sure. Let's come on down here and Bring see what this on. is. Harpy guards. Har finding a harpy base is fine with me. We gotta get rid of a lot of this stuff. Uh, I need totems. Those will help for sure. And then let's just start healing the crap out of this stuff. Rejuve would be good here too, probably. Let's go Oak Flesh and then Rejuve, and then just fight through this. Ooh, Kobolds. Okay. It's possible that freeing the Kobolds will just give us a, a straight-up ally. I don't know. I have a lot of money. I have a lot of gold, but not a lot of lumber, which is sort of expected. Okay, so let's stay clustered together. Um, I will get in Snare. I, I'll get I'll get all these upgrades. Let's just get everything for now. I'd like to get some more druids for wild growth and more shaman. I think our cast our casters are absolutely key here. I really enjoy the casters. Um, we just need strong frontline support. So just throwing some braves in there seems good enough. Okay, more centaur here. Let's go oak flesh. Should be good. We already used Mysticism. Honestly, yeah, casting Power Surge is just terribly strong, so I would rather them be spending money on that, and then we can use Mysticism when it's available. Okay, so now we've helped the Harpies, I think? So this is just one of the Cobalt vi villages. I see. Okay, so there's multiples of these. Um, Gray appears to be online now, so maybe if we can go and, uh, and kill Gray... Then, again, we're sort of gonna stay on top of the centaur aggression. The beginning was, was quite challenging with how, how quickly things were coming online, but we're in a better spot now. We're doing better on lumber as well. We've got pretty much every upgrade available to us. Now I can maybe finally get a, uh, a bestiary. Trains champions? Yes, please. Okay, here comes green. Yeah, finding this green base would be nice. Again, getting the harpies just out of the fight completely would be really nice. Okay, so is this all connected? Oh, the harpies are on the ground. That's interesting. I feel like I haven't seen that before. Okay, let's get some rejuve going. Interesting models here, that's for sure. Oh, and then I forgot we've got the Ancestral Guardians. Passively inc And it passively increases armor, too? Yes! Wow, the okay. We're, we're popping off, baby. We're using, our, we're using all of our spells. I, again, this is very solidly a spellcaster type... type group. And it's, it's popping off. It's working out. Whoa, okay, that's connected. Interesting. So this map is just filled, filled, just absolutely filled with enemies all over the place. Oh, it's a co this is a cobalt village. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> We're still only in low upkeep. I appreciate that. I'll just try to keep that, keep that going. Uh, I could go for this next. More harpies coming in. I'd like to find all my casters and continue adding them to my casting group. There we go. And then let's make sure we're healing pulse. Oh, it's I think I think this is kind of like um uh, it might just be a heal. I don't know. I couldn't quite tell. I was gonna say it might be a What am I thinking? <laughs> it might be like a um 
like an obsidian statue, like a uh, touch of or blight, whatever it's called, you know? Okay, lots of towers in here just blasting away at us. Let's just get in the middle here and rejuve because the cooldown on that is absurd. Oh, you are approaching me? Instead of fleeing, you're coming right to me to die? Kaznarmam, the Dune Breaker. Whoops. All right. I can't cut your head off without getting close. Whoa, wait, where are you all going? What are you all doing? You got you got to stop that. <laughs> Please stop. The, look at the kobolds. They're, they want to move out, but they're not really sure what to do. Go, my friends. Take them out. Rat Rider. They have entire kobold factions. It's solid. Okay, so what did we lose? We lost a Spirit Walker. That's acceptable. You guys use Mysticism. I'd love to find this green Harpy faction. I feel like we're very close to the Harpy Queen. We just gotta find her and finish her up. I'm also pretty... I mean, I could probably cut across the top to go for this. Uh, I have to be careful, though, because, again, Gray can continue to attack me in areas that I'm not anticipating. I got plenty of money now, so I think we just go ahead and build... Uh, towers like like crazy because now this is a kind of a race to the finish I mean there's gold on the ground I'm not gonna not gonna say no to that mysticism let's go all right so let's cut across the top and see where we end up there's no time to rest shockwave level three our heroes are both almost level 10 one's 10 and one's nine Earth guide me. This might be the okay. Yes. Yep, yep. Let's go. Everybody, get in there. This is it. If we found green, that's huge. I, I like how the. I kind of like how the. Uh, the harpies are just sort of flying in circles, but they're not sure what to do. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That's where you want to go, buddy. So we still haven't found... There's a final Cobalt Village. I, I'm, I'm happy with this doing this instead, because this direction should take us to the final lady. The Harpy Queen, I imagine. So let's finish this up. It might be worth getting some, some crushers. After all of this. Gauntlets of Ogre Strength, fine. Here, pop this. Does this is this just going to lead us in a big... Where is this taking us? It's just like a big windy mess. <laughs> I think we've got to do this, though. It's the only way to get through here. Having some anti-building would be helpful, but just not in the cards for us. You guys just stay in the back, please. I don't want to waste you. Keep mysticizing. Are they really gonna... They're gods! Actual gods! Alright, champions totem. Let's get a couple champions to kind of flesh out our total supply. What's happening here? Was he made ethereal somehow? Oh, he's invisible. <laughs> okay. Scavenging harpies. Okay, there's our level 10. Let's use um, oak flesh and you can wild growth yourself. Let's move on in. Like, it doesn't feel like we've made a huge amount of progress on this map, but now that we have unlocked our allies, they're, they are pushing out and, and doing some good some good work. And if we can get up here with some, some anti-fortified uh, anti armor, we should be able to really make some progress. Why are you still invisible? Attack something. All right, I don't need you to be invisible anymore. I was going to use you to scout, but it's not necessary anymore. I think this just loops all the way around and up to the Harpy Queen. I think I think that's just where this that's just that's just where we're going here eventually. Let's just rejuve, doesn't hurt. Gotta wait for these things. They'll help us get through these bases just that little bit faster. You know you s oh wow, yeah, he has they have a whole nother base. Solid. Okay. Let's just wait for these crushers to get up here and then we'll be good to go. 
Um, yeah, let's get some of these special guys out, the, the fancy warriors. Make sure we're using mysticism and then get some totems. The totems don't cost that much mana, so that's I'm, I'm pleased with that. Yeah, these braves are very wasteful on supply, I think. Oh, okay, good. So you guys go up the ramp and then attack. 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 Good. And again, this is just all about being able to get through this stuff faster. And having siege damage will do that. I'm pretty proud of myself. I think I'm using almost every tool at my disposal. I'm just going to turn on wild growth. I don't need the healing. I've got a rejuve hero, which is really all you need, I think, at the end of the day. We're running out of supply here. The kobolds are mostly getting through. I don't know if if these centaur um, if these centaur are going to attempt to rebuild any static defense or our placed units. I don't know. Okay, we have another harpy base. I want to get this guy up in the front and then just rejuve. Looking good. And then we throw down, well, we, let's use Mysticism, and then we throw down some Totems. Good against air units. You guys just attack buildings. That's your only job. We're almost to the Harpy Queen as far as I can tell. And then it looks like Teal can go and finish up Gray for us, which leaves Orange, Blue, and then the optional objective. Well, there's two optional objectives still, but again, we're able to get through these bases pretty quick. It's just the, the layout of this Harpy base is pretty rough to fight through. Heck yeah, champions. Good, yeah, they're going to finish up gray. In fact, if we don't do this fast enough and do the optionals fast enough, it's possible the kobolds that we have brought into the fray will uh, will finish this for us. We've gotten rid of a lot of blue. Getting into this base, this looks like it's all walled off. We might have to get to it from the back. It looks like we're going to have to go like all the way around to get up there. And it sounded like there was like a boss up there of some sort, so... All right, the Harpy Queen, I believe, is right here. She's revealed on the map. They are rebuilding stuff. So the enemies do build in some fashion. Perfect. Okay, they are definitely going to finish that up. I would like to find the last Cobalt base. There she is, Queen Windscar. Let's get our heroes on top of her first. I don't want to throw away other units if I don't have to. All right, you're going to get roasted. Foolish Torrin, I'll pick your bones clean and scatter the pieces to the wind. Sure. It's an odd uh, set of moves for a harpy that's on the ground. I like it. Just very different. All right, what you gonna drop for me? That's all I care about, lady. She's this one, I think. I'm not gonna be able to see it because of the trees. So let's make sure we keep an eye on it. She didn't drop anything. I thought that said fail at first. So I was about to be real upset. Okay, so now we gotta get out of here. This whole windy, this whole windy road. Um, we're gonna come all the way back down here, and then we're gonna work to the right to that, to that uh, beacon, and then we're gonna go for orange, and then we're gonna hopefully find the last cobalt base. I don't know what's down here either. Workers, we're gonna kind of send you up in this general direction to figure it out for us. Maybe these guys will go for blue. They, yeah, they destroyed it. Three of five. Good. That's exactly where I want him to go next. Hell yeah. Okay, no, yeah. Keep going this way. We gotta get all the way down. It's an unfortunately long way. The nice thing is the harpies are off our back. I feel like the harpies stopped attacking us at a certain point, and I don't know why. What's weird is that these guys, the, the faction color here is seems seemingly the same as here. Man, they really gotta run the gauntlet. We might have to use... um. Just long-range stuff for that. So we're going to auto-attack to this beacon. Let's figure it out, and hopefully we'll find kobolds around, along the way to finish that up. And instead, it's just going to be more orange. There's a lot of pre-placed just orange junk. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time, but it shouldn't. Okay, mysticism. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely plowing through all this stuff now. And now that we've got our, our pulverizers here, we're in better shape. 
And we've got champions in the front, too, somewhere. Maybe a few too many braves at the end of the day, but that's A-OK. -okay. Again, there's a lot of windy and tight passageways. It'd be nice if some of these bases were a little more open, because it's kind of a pain to navigate through. And I feel like I'm at a point where I'm... I've essentially won, but it's it's just getting there, you know? It's recommended you save your game. Don't make me laugh. Uh, let's go... I think more shaman. Yes, and then, and let's go champions. Maximum food limit. Uh, okay, so we gotta get up here. I think it's telling me to save my game because the kobolds are getting close to the boss, <laughs> if I had to guess. Maybe not. Let's see what this is. I knew you would make it here, young Kanu. You are truly the worthy successor of the Ember Wind. <clears throat> we came to see for ourselves the power you promised, my chieftain. What must we do to save our people? I have gathered the spirits of the most legendary warriors of our clan. You must simply allow them to use the bodies of your warriors and your foes shall fall beneath them. You speak of possession. Kanu, this spirit must be mad. We cannot allow the bodies of our warriors to be defiled by specters. Specters? Ah! There's no other choice. Accept our gift, or the Ember Wind shall be no more. We're, we're winning, dog. We don't need your help. Kanu, I implore you to reconsider this. Make your choice, young chieftain. <clears throat> like, I kind of want to do it just because I, I want to see what it does. But like, nah, dog. We don't need your we don't need your spooky help. Get out of here. <clears throat> I I reject your offer, honorable chieftain. We cannot risk the damnable the damnation of the souls of our tribe. <clears throat> How disappointing. I had thought you more weak-willed. <laughs> no matter, there are others that will serve us willingly in time. Remember this moment as you release your final breath. Ha <laughs> Is it... Is it a demon? Ha <laughs> ha! Got him! That creature was wearing a disguise. Thank you for making me see reason, Joka. We all require guidance from time to time, my friend. We will ruminate on the nature of that fiend later. For now, we have a tribe to save. Again, I kind of want to just have seen what it does. Let me, we become Chaos Torin. Let's get moving. <clears throat> as soon as he said, I thought you'd be more weak-willed than this. The text could certainly be sped up. I think that's taking up more time than it needs to. And that's why this video is going to be longer. So I think I'll play to the end, even though this is probably going to go over the, the hour mark. But that's that's fine at the end of the day. Okay, so we gotta come all the way down here to get to Orange. Wildkin. Hello? Why are these... That was weird. <clears throat> Let's get some more uh, crushers. That's clearly the way to go here. No. That's alright, I can rebuild it. Or it's gonna survive! Let's go, baby. The Earth Mother is near. Precisely. Okay. Bring it on. So all of you just attack into orange. You'll figure it out eventually. The kobolds are gonna kill the boss! Kaznarmorn, you're a coward. And a clown. And you deserve nothing. <laughs> I'm so proud of them. Good job. Good job, buddies. Maybe they're a little too strong. It's hard to say. I also, I don't know where the last group of kobolds are. There's clearly attack. something here. I'm not sure if I'm really in the... <clears throat> in the mood to scour the map for all the creeps. Like, we're clearly on track to finish this up. Um, hopefully I didn't miss too many tomes. But this was great. I, I liked the, the, the... 
the custom Torrent faction to use, if, it, especially the spellcasters. Like, it's very strong if you use the spells. If you don't, like, if I just auto-attack like I am now, obviously we're going to be strong because we've got this um, power surge on. But otherwise, like, if we don't use those other spells, it's not nearly as good. So I'm actually very pleased with how this goes. How this has gone, I should say. <laughs> Alright, more harpies. Let's move them in. Attack, 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 attack. This is four of five war pavilions. Just gotta throw down some heals, make sure we're in good shape. Throw down some totems. Still more harpies. They're everywhere. This is like a joint harpy base. Orb of Venom. Uh, we already can attack air, right? So, I barely put anything on poor Joka. Because <clears throat> he's a Joka, am I right? <laughs> Got him! Alright. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Hearing myself scream in that, in that centaur imitation has driven me crazy at the end of the day. I see what's happening here. Well, we gotta maybe go and clean that up. The kobold, I, I'm gonna guess, are here. I would never forgive myself if I didn't free the rest of the brave... If I didn't free the rest of the brave, uh, kobolds that have done so much for us. Seriously, it's a lot! Alright, so let's just check this area down. Let's just ch let's go down the whole right side of the map, then we're gonna swing up to the top and win. Can I get in there? What do we have here? Owlkin? Wildkin? What have you? Doesn't it seem weird that some they don't start as hostile to you sometimes? Oh, oh no. Okay, well. It's alright. Murlocs. Why are they not attacking us? Why, why are they not hostile to us? That's weird, isn't it? It's like we have to force them to be hostile to us. First. Got Certainly it. different. I am able to help. There we go. I am <clears throat> Where is the last group of kobolds? Maybe here? It's gotta be it, right? Staff of the Shaman. I've never seen the likes of these pink-skinned creatures before. They're not native to our land. Those weapons they were carrying look powerful. Perhaps we can make use of them. Gunners. Torrent Hunter wielding a strange weapon found on the corpses of bearded pinkskins. Effective against air units. Attacks slowly but deals high damage. That's cool. I like how you unlock new stuff as you... as we do this. So yeah, get some of those, even though well, we're supply block currently, but... Um, again, I'm looking for the last group of kobolds. I dream. It's, got, it's almost definitely in here, and then we can go and wipe out blue. Uh, again, our cobalt buddies, they're doing it for us. They killed the boss, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't see him up here, so I think they did it, and they're, they're retreating because they're not sure what to do, but that's, that is just fantastic. Good job, cobalts. Um, it's possible they could be... No, that's gone. Could, they, they might be in the upper left if they're not down here. Which, again, it looks pretty clear like this, this is where they're going to be. Because there are harpies coming out from this area, too. Uh, getting spirit walkers and realizing that their level 1 spell was, uh... Was what it ended up being is exactly what needed to happen. I'm going to go ahead and get my slower units up into position up here. We're going to free these kobolds. They're going to attack us with their buddies. And then as GG, whatever your name was, guy mean guy. I like how there there's also, also multiple endings. Like, it, seemingly, we, we waited so long that their uh, gold mine had collapsed. We waited so long, um... And I wonder what would have happened, like, if there's a good ending and a bad ending such that, like, if we if we took the offer, then he would have allowed us to be possessed by demons, etc, etc. Would have been funny. Let's finally kill these lions, please. Will you get out of here? Just ignore the thunder lizards. I don't need this stuff anymore. Nice job. Free yourselves, cobalt slaves. We're under attack. Oh, no. He is he is brave. He's a brave Torin. What a man. Almost getting killed by splash damage of our own units. 
All right, just let's just auto attack up there and get this get this show on the road. So I would say this one it it could be a little shorter for a multitude of reasons. Number one, the cinematics could be sped up just because the um, the dialogue could be um, <coughs> just brushed up in the sense that um, some of the lines last longer than they need to. That's really not a big deal. And for a contest like this, that's not really what I'm looking for. At the end of the day, I'm just saying in terms of like how long I'm spending on the video, could be shorter simply because um, those cinematics could have been noticeably shorter with the time in between if you were to um, accumulate all the time. But that's again, neither here nor there. Um, I really enjoyed the idea that there is a choice if you get up here to become more powerful. It's sort of like a little microcosm of uh, the Grom Hellscream choice. Except that that wasn't a choice. This is li this is actually a choice. And by not taking it, I actually feel pretty good about myself. And I think that's cool. Okay, so this is the last blue base. And we didn't need... We didn't need... Ancient guy's help, and when you think about it, he wanted us to go to war simply so that we would be forced into asking him for help. So it all kind of makes sense. I think I kind of did this in the wrong order. Well, I don't know, we were getting hit pretty hard from both sides, so getting rid of these two bases did make a lot of early sense in retrospect. So I think that was the right decision. Uh, and we, we, we did have to play pretty scrappy early on. Um, with our casters and such. So I'm I'm very pleased with how this went overall. Again, it could have been maybe like the layout could be a little easier, like less windiness to, in order to get from place to place. Because like especially getting to the Harpy Queen was certainly dragged out. But um, I don't know. In terms of like we have the whole tech tree unlocked, this feels like it could be close to the end of a campaign uh, because the tech tree and the length of the mission, it was pretty tough too at the beginning, but became very easy about halfway through. And so they had done it. Kanu's passion, tempered by wisdom and the aid of his ally, allowed them to prevail. This would have been different if the player clicked the other button. I have no doubt that we would have been exterminated if the young warrior had given in to his hatred of his, own, of his foes. Thankfully, the right choice was made. <laughs> Kanu reconciled with his father and would take up the mantle of chieftain of his tribe, but not before finishing his task of slaying all his foes. He ventured forth into the barrens in search of the vile creature that had attempted to deceive him, accompanied by Joka Summer, Summer Singer. The warrior and the druid ventured off alone and never returned to the valley. The tales of the Emberwinds say they fell battling the devilish creature. The path of the warrior tempered by patience may not lead to an honorable end, but honor and life remains past the end of the hero. This is the wisdom we glean from the story of Kanu Emberwind. It's a very nicely crafted story. Really, really neat dialogue, and also cool to think that it would be a, diff a totally different ending and a different second half of the map. Because the other thing you could do is if you could rush up to the upper right before you kill any of the centaur, and you can get that triggered, and then you become the Chaos Tauren, in theory, then the map would go a lot faster. Uh, because I, the big thing we lacked were, was siege damage throughout. Yep, about an hour. That's what I expected. That was great. I enjoy that again. It's a custom faction. It had a lot to it. It was a custom faction that was fun to use. That's also important. We had we had heroes that uh, w one was fairly straightforward and standard, and one that was entirely custom, like a custom Tauren hero druid. I like that. Never used the lion form, mostly because I was afraid that it would break something. Um, but it was really never necessary. <coughs> I liked his uh, I liked his spells and having tranquility is just too good. Um, so there were some things I missed. I know I didn't use some of the druid spells. I didn't use the lion form, but ultimately I think I uh, I showcased a good amount of that Torrent faction, and I think Seven Blood did a good job at smashing all this together into a functional map. Because again, what what you could do is just say like, okay, here are the Torrent. You want to play this new faction? Here, plop you down in the bottom left. You got an enemy force in the upper right, and go and beat them. But this actually uh, incorporated good creep placement and incorporated multiple enemy factions kind of under siege and puts you into a position that you would want to allow yourself to be possessed in order to win. So I understand that I, like having a choice like that needs to come with a real reason to want to to want to accept the clear demonic possession. <laughs> and this map did it. It's just I didn't make it up to the upper right until I felt really comfortable to do so, but some people might rush up there. And frankly, I think that optional objective could be 
made a little closer to your base. Like, it's clear that the bottom left enemy is the first enemy to attack you, so that's probably who the player's going to go for first. If you put that optional objective behind that base, so that's easier to get to, the player's still kind of under siege from pink and uh, green harpies. At that point, the player may actually think a lot harder about about taking that. Uh, and I, I, think that's, I think that would be um, a better incorporation of that. But in any case, I think it was excellent to see that it was there at all, and we could have seen a big faction change. But, you always, I, I, I gotta leave y'all wanting some more, so some of you go and download the map and try playing the alternate path and let me know uh, what happens. I assume the ending isn't quite as good, and it's probably more fitting for Garrosh, because this whole story was meant to to tell Cairn uh, where where this um, Spirit Walker expects Garrosh to go eventually. So I, I suspect that taking the power of the demon is more fitting for, for Garrosh than, than not. All right, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Again, leave your feedback for Seven Blood below. I'm sure he'd really appreciate it, as would I, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.